We'd like to begin our program, however, with a performance of our theme song by the Concord High School Chorus, led by their musical director, Tom Sabatino. grateful for our partnership with the United Way of Delaware and with all of the sponsors, businesses, and community organizations that are working with us to make this happen. We are fortunate to have received significant financial investments from the City Foundation and the Jesse Ball DuPont Fund for startup operations. Additional support has been provided by a number of other organizations identified in the sponsorship banner that's somewhere around here, <laughs> right here behind me. <laughs> Uh, so before leaving, you know, uh, try to take a peek at uh, a peek at the at the uh, banner. You will now hear from several speakers. Afterwards, we invite you all to have a tour of the Stand By Me Financial Empowerment Center on the ground floor, and uh, that can be reached by going down the stairs or the elevator located in the front lobby. I'm now honored to introduce our first speaker, the head of our partner organization, Ms. Michelle Taylor, President of the United Way of Delaware. Good morning. Wow. You did hear Rita and I singing in the back, didn't you? <laughs> we do want to thank the Concord High School Choir. Let's give them another round of applause. My alma mater. <laughs> what better way to start this celebration? We at United Way have been working to help more families find pathways to financial independence. And we are proud to partner with the state of Delaware and others to finally launch our first Stand By Me Center. Many of you might be wonder wondering what makes Stand By Me so unique. For starters, this program provides clients with long-term financial coaching to help them to achieve their financial goals. 
This isn't about emergency assistance. It's not a one and done program. It is Stand By Me will help Delawareans create their own pathways to financial stable life, not just to tide them over from one payday to the next. Second, this program is client driven. We don't tell clients what their goals are. Whether it's getting out of debt, saving for a house, building a rainy day fund, Stand By Me coaches will work with clients where they are, regardless of their income level, to help them to realize their goals and reach their aspirations. And finally, through Stand By Me, it will be managed, although it will be managed by professional staff, it is also um, a program that will use trained volunteers as coaches to work with the clients. If you know anything about United Way, you know that our motto is Live United. We think that Stand By Me is the best example <laughs> of Living United. It's a program where Delawareans will be helping Delawareans create a better life for themselves. And this couldn't happen without great partners. And right now, I'd like to introduce one of them. Terry Hassan from City Foundation will share a few words. Thanks, Michelle. This is an exciting day, and thank you for allowing me to say a few words. I'm Terry Hassan. I'm the Regional Director of Community Development at Citibank and also a representative in Delaware of the City Foundation. And I'm happy to announce that the City Foundation has made a $70,000 investment in the Stand By Me program. And we're very excited to be one of the first to commit to this really exciting initiative that the state of Delaware and the United Way are putting together. It's a fantastic initiative. Mm -hmm. For many individuals, the ability to establish financial plans, maintain financial goals, and develop strategies for preserving their financial position during times of economic prosperity and instability are critical factors in maintaining economic success. And as Michelle said, it has nothing really to do with income. It's the way you set your financial goals and how you manage what you have to keep your family um, safe. The City Foundation is a longtime supporter of programs that provide individuals with access to knowledge, financial products, and coaching to establish financial behaviors that help them with their future. We've actively funded the Local Initiative Support Corporation, or LISC, in their over 40 empowerment centers that they've established around the country. We are working with NeighborWorks and success measures to train 450 counselors on coaching techniques in the next two years. And we have partnered since 2009 with Mayor Bloomberg and his financial empowerment centers in New York as part of his anti-poverty um, initiative. But I can't say that they're as exciting as this. <laughs> This is truly an innovative idea. It's a statewide initiative. It has some of the best minds in the country working on it. It has the commitment, the full commitment of the state of Delaware, the governor, and the wonderful United Way. So on behalf of the City Foundation, I'm very happy to be part of this wonderful group. Thank you. And now we will have some remarks from my boss, the Honorable Rita Landgraf, <laughs> Secretary of the Department of Health and Social Services. Thank you. It's great to be with you today on this most exciting day. The essence of Stand By Me, as it's been said, Stand By Me gives people the tools that they need to understand their financial challenges, the support that they need to develop a plan to address those challenges, and of course, the confidence they need to achieve their goals. This program will support so many of the constituencies we serve in the Department of Health and Social Services. It will be a resource to families going through separation who are served by our Division of Child Support Enforcement. It will help parents who receive assistance for health insurance, child care, and food to feel more in charge of their financial lives, and it will help them to create opportunities for their children and families. It will help people with disabilities who work hard and could benefit by developing their own savings and personal money management strategies. These are only a few of our customers who will be able to take advantage of the Stand By Me. 
We also look forward to working with other departments throughout our state government. For example, we will partner with the Children's Department to assist children aging out of foster care and the Department of Education to help parents and high school students to apply for college and financial aid. I guess it goes without saying that just about everyone we serve in state government, including our own state employees, could benefit from financial empowerment, and I am proud to make this happen. One of my greatest honors, however, is to serve at the pleasure of our governor, who is a visionary and a leader who has recognized the need and the possibilities for financial empowerment as an essential strategy of his administration. Please welcome a man whose life mission has been focused on economic justice and financial empowerment for us all, Governor Jack Markell. Thank you. Well, I want to thank Secretary Landgraf uh, first uh, for the introduction, but more importantly for the wonderful work that you do uh, leading the Department of Health, Health and Social Services and helping so many people through the state. Uh, Henry, uh, thank you as well. Uh, today you're at MC, but I know you do a lot more in this. <laughs> and the support, the support that you've provided to, to Mary, who I'll talk about in a moment, in, in getting this program off the ground, we're really grateful for. Uh, Michelle, uh, the partnership with United Way is a really important one to the state uh, in general and particularly on this program, so thank you. And Terry, uh, my old friend in the world of financial empowerment, uh, when Terry said that Citigroup has long been involved in supporting uh, these efforts, and she talked about some of them across the country, uh, she was understating it. I mean, Citigroup uh, has just been an unbelievable champion in large part because of Terry Hassan. Uh, right here in Delaware, and we're so grateful to you as well. This to me, uh, this is actually one of the most exciting announcements that I've had the opportunity to make as governor. And that may be surprising to people because I've had an opportunity to make some pretty exciting announcements. But this one is really the culmination of a uh, 12 years of work uh, since I've come into state government. But more importantly, about, more important than the fact that it's the culmination of my work, it's the culmination of the work of dozens of people, many of whom are in this room. Many who don't necessarily work together on other things, but I, and I, I, I wish that everybody in the room could introduce themselves so we could all know exactly who you're associated with. But this is such an unbelievably important issue, and I'll never forget the first time that Mary DuPont, uh, who is standing over there and will be up here in a couple minutes, when I met her, she was at the YWCA of Delaware at the time, and the Y uh, in Delaware had a reputation, continues to have a reputation, as what, being one of the best places in the country with respect to understanding uh, financial empowerment. And uh, we developed a, uh, uh, a friendship and a relationship. It built on the work that uh, Ronnie Cohen and others of us did at the Delaware Money School, uh, where we really tried to bring the resources about educating people about money from kids through the bank at school program uh, on through adults through the through the money school and uh, Mary uh, and I worked for years together when I was state treasurer and she was the head of the Nehemiah Gateway Community Development Corporation on what became if not the best one of the best uh, earned income tax credit campaigns in the country and that has that has uh, been recognized across the country not only for the the thousands of people that it helps in Delaware and the millions of dollars of additional money that it brings in, but for the partnerships that were forged, including with institutions of higher education, bringing new people in uh, to the field, uh, people who were studying accounting and other, and other areas who might have otherwise gotten lots of training and traditional tax work, but now also had this uh, community benefit piece to it as well. And the reason this is so powerful to me and I'm guessing the reason we have a standing room only crowd here today, and which means it's powerful to all of you as well, is because we've seen the difference that it can make. We have, seen, we have met the people whose lives have been transformed by understanding something about managing money that they never understood before. And whether it's the associate of ShopRite, and I see Chris Kenny sitting over here, and ShopRite has long been a such a great employer in this state in terms of lots of things, but in, uh, certainly in terms of working with their associates to make sure that their associates understand what managing money is all about. So whether it's the ShopRite associate, whether it's the people who have attended some of the conferences or the money school classes and 
who have talked to me about the, the changes that they've made in their lives because of what they've learned. That's what this is about. And when I, think, and when I look out at all of you, and I look at this list and all these organizations who are involved, this really does show Delaware at its best when we're working together. You know, I don't know that, uh, how many of you are from the private sector? And from community organizations? And from government in one fashion or another? We work together pretty well. We work together pretty well. In fact, we work together very well. And when we work together at our best, it's because we remember it's not about the individual organization that we're working for, but it's about the people that we're serving. And when we remember that, and when we put their interests first, I'm guessing that many of you, like me, got a little bit choked up when those students from Concord High School started singing that song. Not just because they were so good, which they were, but because of the title. And those of us who know the movie and the reliance that we all have on one another and the reliance that thousands, tens and hundreds of thousands of Delawareans have on us collectively. So that's why this is one of the most exciting announcements I've had an opportunity to make as governor. 